we have anushka with me uh, hello anushka welcome so anushka uh, has been uh, associated with chinta with, in various ways like she has uh, studied at some point and then taught at some point and she has been a constant a mentor for some of our students so she's right now in mit doing mathematics and computer science and quite a few things she is the youngest uh, inmo mm -hmm. awardee from india uh, in her time and i think it's still a till now it's a record so thank you for joining in anushka and we would love to learn more from you about quite a few things like your preparation and how is it to study at mit and how did you you know uh, like prepare your application toward mit and other ivy leagues i'm, assu I'm assuming that you also prepared for the ivy leagues and what advice you have for the young students here. So one other thing that Anushka did while she was uh, we're, uh, working with us is that she also uh, worked on a project called, a passion project called Center for Mathematics for Girl Students. And she mentored some kids. And that's also, I'm assuming that's a project that was close to her heart. And yeah. uh, so there is a gender disparity in mathematical sciences all over the world. And uh, leaders like Anushka are very good in spirit role models to you know change that. Can you tell a little bit more about your Olympiad journey to the students? And uh, maybe we can start from there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my Olympiad journey started pretty early. I found out about them. I actually stumbled upon Olympia as well, doing some random Google, random Google searches about some math problems. And I thought this is really interesting. So I started studying for them and by like i took they, there used to be free rmo back in the day i think they got rid of it now um so i took that in seventh grade and i qualified that but i could not make it to rmo back then and yeah and then i retook it in eighth grade i qualified inmo as well um and i got selected for egmo team european girls math olympiads I got three medals there, bronze medals. Yeah, and I took part in a lot of other Olympiads as well. Yeah, that's awesome. So could you uh, say a little bit more about the uh, books that you used in the very yeah. early days? Let's say someone is just starting out in the process. Maybe the kid is in fifth grade, sixth grade, seventh grade, just starting out. How, what kind of books should that person you know start with you can also first try to you know take math of like higher classes like seventh eighth tenth grade till tenth grade mostly and then for number theory you could try with um elementary uh number theory by david burden yeah that is a really great book that i followed from for a while that really helped me there are a lot of various books for combinatorics but mostly doing past year problems helps a lot and then going to the books because there's not a lot of theory which um yeah there's still a book uh, called a walking combinatorics i guess yeah what about geometry like uh did you okay. use any specific thing for geometry yeah i definitely did uh, there is this uh, book called um challenges and uh, and thrills of pre college um mathematics yeah that right. book that has a lot of good geometry you can do the book by euclidean geometry for math olympias by evan Chin. that is an amazing book after you know you have a little bit of base because it mostly covers various olympiad problems yeah i agree the evan Chen's book is like really nice what about algebra like uh did you do anything specific for algebra um there's these uh books by um three problems in algebra okay um, that's by teacher andrew's q right yeah 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 those one those like those are really good for algebra because there's not a lot of theory that you can do independently for algebra in my opinion that you just need to do the problems and gather the ideas usually um i walk you through this problem is really nice one thing that students ask me at least all the time is that uh how do i even get started like with the problems like you're saying that there is not a lot of theory so isn't there like i should read something first and then do the problems or just do the problems and then you know learn on the way what do you think um for 
like for geometry at least, which was my favorite topic, if you do like pre call or uh, like challenging skills in pre college mathematics, it has it does walk you over the theory before it gives you the problems, and those problems are very uh, specific to that topic, and that helps. So you kind of gather all the ideas from there, and then you can try previous year problems or other books. So could you tell me? Uh, so not many people know about the European Girls Math Olympiad. So could you tell me a little more, more about how do we even apply for it? Like, uh, and how do we get started? Like up, up the application process and all. Um, You can't apply for it. You have to qualify INML and then you okay. have to go to the training camp and there they do training um, selection tests and they pick team up for, from those. I see. So it's basically just preparing for Olympiads. Great, great. That means he is basically prepared for ICAM, uh, RMO and INMO and then go for it. Yeah. Tell me a little bit more about the application process to MIT and other places. Like how, how was it? Like um, uh, how hard was the process and what did you do? What are the things that you do? The MIT application process, like any Ivy League or other US colleges, it's a lot of essays. And you are you are expected to be raw in those essays. You have to present yourself, and not just the academics part because they ask you about the academics separately. They have a whole form for it, and you fill it out, and that's done. But in the essays, you have to be who you are, kind of. And I know it sounds vague, but you have to like talk about your interests and what you did in life, and kind of how how are you who you are in a way um yeah uh so but i just sat and i i honestly wrote multiple versions of what i'm going to talk about for my essays then i was then i decided on what i wanted like I, what i want to present in a way um yeah they basically just want to know you as a person so like did you talk about the olympiad experience in the essay or uh yeah. other stuff that you are, are there some other stuff that you did apart from the olympiad that you highlighted in the essays please just my olympiad experience and teaching and uh, i taught a lot i love teaching i still i yeah i still try to teach whenever i can to students and um yeah it was it was mostly about how how it started, how I started teaching, how I got into Math Olympiads, and what it was like kind of being the only girl that qualified back then, and you know, all the stigma that followed it, followed around it. That's great. Yeah.